tuning in, this is Optimus coming to you with another video review. And today, despite the fact that I'm actually sick and my voice probably sounds pretty weird, we'll be taking a look at the brand new Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Snakeweed, the mutant botanical bruiser. And he's wee. A tiny guy. Now, much like my review of Leatherhead, I talked about how that some of these figures really should be a lot bigger, and Snakeweed is definitely one of them. This guy should tower over the turtles, and unfortunately, he's he just doesn't. But again, if we want to send Playmates a message that we want bigger versions of this, click the like button. Because if you like this video enough, I'm going to send it to Playmates and be like, look, we the fans want bigger figures. We don't mind paying you know, like $15, $18 or something like that for a figure that's twice this size. I've already gotten a huge response with the Leatherhead video, so hopefully with Snakeweed we can continue that. But for the packaging, as you can see, it's pretty much the same that we have with all the other Ninja Turtles. You got the purple, you got the, the neon green. Uh, it does look like there's some assembly required. Yeah, you got the bottom here, you got to put them together. Uh, so maybe he's actually a little bit bigger than he, he looks in the package, but we'll see. Then you got all the other figures that are in the line. Uh, now this doesn't have Leatherhead, so Leatherhead might have come out after this guy, but you do see Baxter Stockman. And it says up here, the venomous vine snake we was once no more than a human lowlife snake snitch an ally to the evil crane exposed to mutagen ooze on the turtles first topside mission this former thud is now a botanical beast lashing out at anything foolish enough to come in close contact Capable of instantly regrowing his leafy limbs, Snakeweed would be unstoppable if not for his vulnerability to fire. And as you can see, uh, his weapons are multiple venomous vines, and his team is the Krang. So that's about it for the, the packaging there. And like I said, it does require some uh, assembly just to attach the feet and vine as shown. So there you have the packaging for the guy. So another bad guy to add to our rank. So let's get him open and see how cool he actually is. Alright guys, so here we have Snakeweed open up and out of its packaging, and as I said, some assembly is required. So, to do that, do 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 there you go, and it doesn't even, you don't even get to keep his leg completely straight, which, that's kind of stupid. So, let's see. do that again. Alright, so, uh, now, he's hunched over, which, that's really kind of annoying. Uh, I mean, he's got his legs bent. He could be such a taller figure if you actually did it right. And then, these little bits here, these uh, things peg on to the top of his head like so so he's got a little crowny thing and then these little bits here they, they plug into uh his his hands I, I i guess we're gonna call them uh we're gonna call them hands and they they don't peg in permanently so you can remove them but um it, it just i don't know I'm, I'm not a big fan of the way that these look it, it's it's kind of I, I, I don't know. I, I'm not a big fan of those. But here you have Snakeweed. Now, you, you can see it really looks like he's mostly sitting. Like, hello. And you can actually have him sit. Uh, I, I wish you could actually straighten his legs all the way out because then he would be a, a much taller figure. Uh, as it stands right now, he is still pretty short. So, first size comparison. Here's Snakeweed. And here's Donatello. Now, Donatello is the tallest of the turtles, and the, he's the reason why I always kind of use him as a size reference with these guys, because he is the tallest. It, it's not a bad scale. I, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. But again, I think if you could straighten out his legs, um, he, he would be a little bit taller, uh, some, somewhere around here, as opposed to here, I guess. Uh, and, and it would just go a long way with making him look better. The scale is just, it's its its better than, than Leatherhead, for example. And here is Leatherhead. Uh, I mean, again, Leatherhead should be a much bigger figure, but you can see a huge difference here. So, so Snakeweed isn't all that bad in terms of the size. Uh, I, I don't like the, 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 the way that the legs are, though. That really kind of uh, really throws me off. Now, he's got all these things all over him. Uh, the only ones that are articulated, I guess, technically would be these. You can kind of rotate these ones. Uh, so you can put this however you really want here at the top. The elbows or the shoulders here, um, no, that gets all tangled. Uh, they they move, they they rotate. Um, 
but everything kind of gets in the way, and then they rotate in and out. There's nothing at the elbow or anything, um, although it is a softer rubber or, or plastic, but I don't think it's meant to be positioned or posed anywhere. Uh, the wrists rotate, and then you have these bits that, like I said, these can come out if you don't want them in there. Uh, the waist here appears to be on some kind of a ball joint sort of thing, so you get a little bit of a rocky motion there. The hips move in and out, they move forward and back, and then he bends here at the knee. So, actually a fair amount of articulation in the guy. I, I, like I said, I, I think my biggest complaint with him is just the fact that uh, I, I really wish that he was able to actually have straight legs. That's that's my biggest gripe. I do like he, how he's got the, his little heart right here. Oh, and then his head actually also rotates. I forgot about that. So, uh, there's a fair amount of articulation in the guy. Uh, Colors look pretty good. Uh, it's a nice representation of how the character kind of looks in the movie, or I'm sorry, the show. Uh, but, I mean, with, with, with his articulation, the only thing that you're really able to kind of do is just put his arms up and make this big, spindly-looking thing. Um, I mean, he's and because of how big of his feet are, you can probably get some crazy, weird kicking poses if you really wanted to. Uh, but... Uh, I mean, I, I, I like what, what they're doing with the figure, but I, I think it could be improved on so much more. And again, this is another figure that I think would be even better if it was maybe not necessarily double the size, just maybe like a third bigger or something like that. It, it's, it's a pretty good size figure, but it's a big giant monster from the show. I mean, it obviously isn't as accurate as, as it could be, but uh, I still like him. I still recommend him. You, I mean, this, this arm's a little bit loose here, but, uh, but yeah, I still recommend the guy. So if you do see him in stores, I would recommend picking him up. I mean, why not have another villain for the Turtles to fight in your collection? But beyond that, though, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomous. Keep in touch with me. Find our recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at Facebook.com slash TeamBotomous. And follow me over on Twitter at Twitter.com slash And until next time, I'll talk to you later.